Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. I'm trying to help somebody use the artistic media tool and it could possibly work. I, I'm gonna do a little bit of research, but it's getting late. And I said I was gonna make another video and I have made plenty of videos on barbed wire. And I made this in pretty quick time. And I'm not saying his, his I, I kind of like them, they're like rustic, uh, barbed wire, and you could very well do this. Uh, matter of fact, you could even use his, or he could use this one. You need to uh, break that thing out of there because you've got it into a curb, but uh, very easily you could uh, grab that line. Let's get the uh, three-point curve line and just draw a line there and kind of bow it out a little bit. Draw a line there and kind of bow it out a little bit. And then smart fill that and there's you a new bob wire that you could i'm going to use it in this video because uh, i've made a video and if you search bob wire on my channel it'll show you how to make that wire and i'm just going to make a straight one right now um maybe tomorrow i'll make him one anyway take a two-point line doesn't really matter how long it is and at this time, you probably want to go ahead and make it, you know, something thicker than a hairline. And get the, uh, go to underneath your shadow flyout is the distort tool. Go up to zipper and right here, click on your line and right here, start adding nodes and then click here. And it's going to give you, um, uh, those variations that's a little bit much and then go right here to smooth and it's going to smooth it out that's a little bit maybe too much so what i'm going to do now is control d and for the one i'm doing it for i change your control d to your duplicate distance to zero so i'm going to control d and then i'm going to mirror it there's my bob wire now we could do two things here we've got they should all be equal. So I'm gonna grab that and put it in the spot, hit the plus key on the keyboard and put it here. So I need one, two, three, four more. I'm gonna shift select both these, holding down the shift key. And I'm gonna to go to effects and blend. And I said one, two, three, four. I'm gonna blend it four times and hit apply and look at that. Now we can do the same thing and I'll do one tomorrow with a circle. But so that way, and it's not really answering this question. Um, I started out a little bit high uh, with my bob wire there. Let me back up here and move this thing down just a little bit. Try to get it more in the center. That one's pretty good. Whoop, I moved the wire. So uh, for the one I'm trying to help, I know this is not helping you. But it's a lot easier to make barbed wire this way. Shift select both those and hit apply and you've made your barbed wire. So you can make, you know, if you had, if you save this barbed wire, um, you know, then you doubled your line, just measure how many times, because your, your barbed wire is pretty much going to go where your twists are. And you don't have to, you know, you could have more twists and, and not put one on every one. And I, I'm, I'm gonna go real quick how I made this. It's kind of neat. Uh, I put a little bit too many wraps on it, but I'm just gonna draw a rectangle and I'm gonna curve it 0.5. And, uh, that'll get us a round shape. I'm gonna make it a little bit longer. And I'm gonna make it 0.15 inches wide. So I'm gonna change my nudge factor to 0.15. And then I can control D and that's why I check is 0 0.15, 0 0.15. And then I can control D or hit the plus key and you've got the bob wire. Now, a couple of ways you can really make it stand out. I'll show you in just a second, but we're gonna take another one and duplicate it. And then we're gonna convert it to a curve. And by doing that, we have nodes. And you can play around, you know, with this to make it 
you know, look like more like barbed wire um, would really look. And then once you have made one, you could, let's just delete this one and move this one over here and then hit the plus key and move it over there and mirror it the other way, both ways, bring that down to there. Whoop, I got the, you need to get the four point arrow. Now I've got two there, so I can just take my, and I, I'm gonna delete it. Um, eh, let's just delete the line. And now you have your bob wire. Now one thing you can do to kind of make it stand out, depending if he's engraving this or um, printing it, I do not know. And you could play around with the tips and make them look a little more real. But what we're gonna do now, this thing now is 0.6. We're gonna change our nudge factor to 0.7. And we're gonna make a duplicate of that, move it over. We're gonna turn this one white outline or a gray, let's do a light gray outline. Now, when we take our smart fill tool, well, we didn't have to make a duplicate. Well, that's not gonna work. Let's try, uh, I'm gonna have to put my outline on the outside in just a second. It's gonna be a little bit hard seeing it, but let's go with black and then grab it all. And you can kind of see a little bit of line there. Uh, go to F12. Hit F12 on your keyboard. You got to F12, and we're going to go right here to the outside position. Maybe my line's not thick enough. Make my line a little thicker and white. There we go. It's too thick now, but let's make it half a point. Look at that. I mean, it just makes it kind of stand out, makes it look like it's actually wrapped bob wire. Now that is actually, you know, a, a white behind there. So we'll make a blue. If you're going to print it or engrave it, kind of show it off. Uh, go to object, order, back a page, and look at that. Now the, the outside, whoop. The outside line doesn't look real good, um, but you could take away, you know, that other line because really you wouldn't want an outline on that line. Let's uh, take our virtual segment delete key and delete this outer line because it's only going to have that inner line because you only really want that one between there. So we'll do the same thing here. You could actually, well, just actually delete that. Whoop. That actually has a line. I'm going to put no outline. There we go. Now it looks like there's some separation. And that's just a suggestion. Um, you can do a little bit job, better job on the bob wire and then just group it together. And you could do the exact same thing, you know, I did here. I just, um, let me just delete all, well, let me pick our lines. Well, let's, uh, let's just delete them. Whoop. I've had a long day. And you don't have to use the blend tool, but you're going to get a lot better job. So let's put one there. Hit the plus key on the keyboard. If you held down the control button, it'll be even with the other one. So this time we need to blend one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. Hold down the shift and select the second one. And I think I did seven. And voila. Now if we, and another thing I've always done with barbed wire is I've made one of the lines a um, different color so you can kind of see the twist. That doesn't really make it, <clears throat> doesn't really make it stand out as much as you would think. And I, I really don't like the white uh, unless you were printing it, but we could take one of these lines and make it a gray. And that way it kind of looks like twisted wire. 
I do not like the white um, ring around that. Um, there we go. Because it was a blend, you can get to change them all at one time. I'm just hitting no feel. To me, that's better looking barbed wire. And, and then every once in a while, I'll just go through. And because it's a blend, you've got to go to object break, blend apart. And when you grab that, it's still a group, so go and ungroup it. And then you can take these and mirror them the other way. So every one of them is not the same. You know, just randomly um, change them. Of course, that's not even on the part that needs to be. Anyway, I, I apologize if I didn't help you with the artistic media tool. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit more research on that and see. Uh, I just don't think there's a way you do it besides the part one I did. I do not like the blue box. That looks pretty good. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.